specifically the freshmen, now that you've seen them for a while. Uh, what can you say, Steve, about the progression as a whole? And then individually, if you could say what you like most about each one of them, what would you say? Um, you know, actually, they've, uh, they're great to coach. They're, like, coachable. They're in the gym. Yes, sir. You know, no, sir kind of kind of guys, which, which I expected. You know, um, they're in the gym all the time. They got a little enthusiasm about them. I love their personalities. Uh, and they all bring something a little different. You know, they're all different positions, and if you throw Miles into that class too, you got the five spot, and then Ron could play the three and the four, and the two, and Caleb could play the one, the two, and the three, and Montez could play the two and the three right now. So you got like a little bit of everything, you know, with them, and they all bring something different, uh, which I like, and something that we needed too. You know, the skills that they bring us are, are things that we didn't have in the program. So Montez, so, we'll start with him. What, what have you seen from him? He's a freak athlete. I mean, he gets to the rim. He can really shoot the ball, and he's a playmaker. He makes plays for other people, which I'm excited about. Um, you know, he really uh, has a nice way about him on the court. Teammates love him. He's going to have a nice career here. You know, very excited about him. His body's getting a little bit stronger. Practices are hard for him right now. Like all the freshmen, they're hard for. But they're starting to kind of grind through it. His body's the, you know, the best to get through the tough right. times. He's built. He's got that Baltimore, you know, toughness. How about Ron Harper? Ron is really skilled. He's got a great personality. Um, has picked up our offenses and everything the quickest, I think. Uh, you know, very good IQ. Um, his body's changing too. Um, shoots the ball. You know, can really shoot it, which we obviously, you know, need an upgrade in that area. But he's kind of unique. He blocks shots. He, he's a little more athletic. He, you know, can get to the rack a little bit. He can post him up. So he's got a versatility to his, his game, especially on the offensive end. Um, that we haven't had, so re really, uh, you know, really excited about where he could be, you know, down the road too. And McConnell, McConnell's good. I mean, he's uh, six six, long. Um, he and Geo been battling. I mean, you, you know, he's, so he's got a tough matchup every day. Terrific floater in the lane, knows how to play. He's had the most overload because he's playing the point guard position, and so he's got a lot of things that he's got to figure out. So we got to slow things down for him at times because we're really, you know, uh, putting him in a tough spot uh, with a lot of stuff. But uh, I really like he can shoot the ball from deep. He's got some tricks. You know, he's uh, he's going to help us. As you adapt, oh, sorry, were you going to finish answer? No, and then Jack Carter, I guess, would be right. the, the last one. If you, you know, and Shaq is, you know, he's, we call him <coughs> Little Shaq at 6'9", 265. Um, I think he's becoming one of our better post defenders. He could score around the bucket. Um, he's showing signs every day of, of learning our stuff, you know, so that's all new to him. Physically, he's got no issues. I mean, he could play right away physically. Um, you know, I think the veterans are out veteraning him right now, but he'll catch up to that very shortly. Um, you know, so I'm excited about it. And they all have great person, and they all come to work, and that's a real positive. Caleb, as he, uh, as he adapts to this new role, as the backup ball handler, what kind of uh, change of pace, change of uh, you know way he plays given his height, and can he bring uh, to backup Geo? Yeah, I mean he's good. I mean he can play. So like he's got swagger. He can handle, really handle the ball, really pass the ball. So he's he's got some abilities that you know, and he gets in the lane. He gets in the lane on everybody. So um, you know, I kind of like you know his abilities. I think he's got a chance, you know, to be really good. And we could kind of, because of his size, we, you know, we could do some different things with him, too. We could really post up two down low, so we could do some different things with him. So I like his versatility a lot. Your team identity has really been defense rebounding first and foremost. How have you seen the new guys kind of uh, embrace that? Uh, yeah, these guys are a lot better offensively. Yeah. So they got to <laughs> embrace that. And they're, they're, they're a lot better <laughs> offensively than we've had in, in the past. And they're learning their way on the other end of the floor. So uh, um, that'll continue to be a, a, a challenge. But offensively, we could do some things with these guys who are clearly um, you know, better. And then when you throw, if you throw Miles Johnson in that class, he's really good offensively. Like he could score right now in the Big Ten in the post. Uh, and is by far our best passer out of the post. So um, offensively, too, for him, like good stuff. I know every recruit is critical, but when you're rebuilding a program and you get a guy like Montez, is, is there something maybe a little bit bigger about him and his arrival and that whole process of kind of maybe managing the hype around him. 
what it means for the program. Yeah, I mean, I, I think too where we've been is every freshman had to be a home run and a grand slam. I'm kind of glad these guys all come in. Like, you know, Gio can play. You know, Eugene can play. You know, Shaq can play. Issa's been around. You know, so I feel better for them that they're not thrown to the Wolves like all of our freshmen have been in the past, including Gio and I had had this conversation like from last year, whether he was ready or not, it didn't matter. Like and when you're in a rebuild part of your program, you'd put guys in tough positions, you know, in the best league in the country. That doesn't have a lot of turnover. This league has no turnover. Coaches have been here forever at every stop, really. Um, so, you know, the good part of, of a guy like Montez, he's really coachable and he's really athletic, so his athleticism really, you know, stands out. But he's got, you know, like all, all three of those freshmen, including um, Miles, if you include him as the fourth guy, you know, just, they just got to continue to learn what we want them to do and how you got to defend every pass, not just guard your guy. And, you know, just a lot of those habits that high school guys bring to college. Um, and could compete on a daily basis, you know, type of deal. But, you know, Montez is, has been great, and I think all of them have. And I never really, you know, the rankings, and the, you know, I say this all the time, Gio was 414. So, like, I think he's a truly a lot better than that. But, like, forget about all that stuff. Like, just come and be yourself and bring your personality and work and bring the gifts that you have. Um, you know, to Rutgers, and, and we'll take advantage of those gifts. So, so we tell all those guys all the time, just, you know, just play and learn from your old, the older guys in the program and just bring what you do. You know, like uh, one thing, Montez, good rebounder. Like he brings that. If he brings that, you know, great things. Like, don't worry about the rest of the stuff that you don't have yet. Steve, have you asked or will you ask Ron's dad to address the team? The guy's got some nice pedigree. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, nah, he's great. And, Ron, and, and, and Ron's great, but, you know, I, I haven't really thought of that um, but he certainly has won at you know every level in that unbelievable NBA career and and all those things so probably should get probably should get him in here going back to uh, Shaq Carter he was pretty well known for his defense in Juco uh, what does he bring on the offensive side of the ball you know what I think you know when I first saw him play he scored a zillion points like I liked his offensive abilities around the basket he's got great hands um, he's a good passer um, when, with good real estate, he can really score. He's a bully kind of post-up guy. Um, so I really like his skill set offensively. Um, we're trying to make him like a really good defender because he's got all the physical tools to guard a lot of positions and, and to do that. But most important thing, Shaq Hart just needs a rebound. And so that's been our mission with him, just rebound, don't worry about the rest. If you rebound, you'll score points and, 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 and it'll help you stay on the floor. So we've really focused on that. But played in a great junior college program. You know, they have a zillion Division One players and real competitive every day in practice down there. So he's come into our practices now, he competes. Mm -hmm. You know, there's no real learning curve for him. So I'm real thankful that we got a kid who's a little bit older and has been in a really good junior college program, well coached. And he already knows how to compete for minutes. So uh, you'll see him, he doesn't flinch, and he gets right after everybody. And now do you see him strictly as a four, or is he another guy who could play multiple? Yeah, he plays multiple positions. He can even guard threes. He's athletic. I mean, he can guard threes, he can guard twos. I mean, he can sit down and guard people. He's, he's, he's very athletic. What's your yeah. scrimmage schedule like, Steve? Um, yeah, we have a couple scrimmages coming up uh, in the next couple weeks. and. Uh, We'll go. Uh, I don't even know. Can I even? No, you're not kidding. They can't yet. They still can't. Yeah, so. That's sorry, still private. Sorry about that. Yeah. I thought that changed. <laughs> so. How do you approach these things? Thank though? you for. Just, <laughs> you know, are you sure about that? All right. For anyway, whatever. Philosophically speaking, how do you approach these things? You know, I, I try to all the time. You know, play everybody. You know, and and give them a dose of the real world. So. Uh, you know, you go at it and, and you try to learn as much and you try to have a great library of tape to teach from. That's what I usually try to do with these things and try a lot of different guys and play a couple different styles, you know, uh, in the scrimmages, teams that, you know, give us something a little bit different for the games that we're going to be seeing early on. So we kind of try to look at those. But just like anything, we'll, we'll have refs here in the next couple of days. And, you know, every time you get filmed now, especially with new guys, it's a good good opportunity for us but you know I'm, I'm excited I'm excited about the newcomers I do think they bring a little bit of everything I'm excited about the returning guys I think they've gotten better and that's what we got to continue to build our program around guys getting better that come here and I think we've done that and uh, hopefully it'll show